Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this video of material costing chapter, we are going to understand yet another method of pricing the issue of materials from your warehouse. And this method is called as replacement method. Okay, so let's begin. Let's understand what is the concept of this method and we'll also solve a practical problem. Okay, let's begin. Now see the concept of this method is very simple. Under this method, what will happen is market price on the date of issue of material will be taken into account okay for example let's take an example and understand all right let's just say on 1st december you purchased 100 quantity of materials at price rupees 20 okay this is your purchase the receipt which came into your warehouse fine and then let's just say on 31st december the production department asked for 50 units so you issued 50 units and what's the price at what price you're going to issue the 50 units their replacement method comes into picture replacement method says you have to immediately check the market price of those materials okay so market price we checked and we came to know it's rupees 35 so now what we have to do this method says dispatch the units issue the units at rupees 35 is that clear so it will be issued at 35 so if you can see over here what happened was this 20 rupees became irrelevant this 20 rupees became irrelevant we are not using that whenever the production department will request for any units and then will issue any units at that time what we are going to do is we are going to check the market price and we are going to issue at market price and in the questions of replacement method you know the market prices on those issue dates will be given to you is that clear so this is the concept of replacement method but now why are they saying replacement over here why are not they saying market price method or something like that see this is a market price method why are they saying replacement is let me explain you see if you want to replace these 50 units you have issued 50 units now now if you want to replace these 50 units on 31st december then what price you have to pay what price you have to pay to the market to get those 50 units into your warehouse yeah how much you have to pay you have to pay 35 rupees each okay so this 35 rupees is not just the market price it's replacement price yeah to get the same 50 units same identical units how much would you have to you know pay you'd have to pay rupees 35 each so this is your replacement price also known as market price over here is it clear so materials issued are valued at replacement cost of items yes in the above example if we want to replenish the 50 units we issued yeah we issued 50 units to production department now so if you want to get them back not from production department i'm saying from the market if you want to purchase them again then what you have to pay you have to pay 35 to replace them to replenish them isn't it then it would cost us rupees 35 each so that's your replacement price is that clear that's the entire concept but now while doing the store ledger you will have to be careful because it's not like fifo lifo and all okay there is a bit different we are going to do it okay the same format and everything it's just the calculation there is not much calculation over here just little bit calculation is there see here rate is not stated in balance column in store ledger you all know there is a balance column yeah uh, you know quantity rate amount rate column will be empty why is that so because rates are not important at what rate you purchase your inventory it's not important yeah at what price you purchase your raw material it's not important because every time when you're issuing you are choosing the market prices is it clear yeah and then the second and third point will be clear when you will uh, you know see the practical problem okay see here amount and quantities are combined in balance column yeah there will not be different different lots all the lots will be combined is that clear yes and then balance amount is calculated by deducting issue amount from previous amount of balance this also i will show you while solving the problem okay let's go to a practical question now now see here we have a question of replacement price method so let's understand how to solve this it's really simple let's read the question first prepare stores ledger account showing pricing of material issues on replacement price basis from the following particulars so here we have been given the transactions and here we have the replacement prices also known as the market prices right and we have to solve this so let's begin see it's really simple first we have an opening balance so opening balance is of first day right so we can say it's of first march all right because all the transactions are of march so we can say it's of first march and opening balance directly goes into the balance column right 
So let's take that first March. The quantity is 400. The price is rupees four each. 400 into four. That's 1600. Clear? Easy. After that, on 10th of March, we have received 100 units at rupees 4.10 per unit. Okay. So 100 into 4.10 is 410 rupees. Right. So let's take that in the receipt column. See, 10th of March, 100. 4.1 if you multiply that 410 and then while explaining the concept of this replacement price method I told you here we'll solve this a bit differently we are going to combine everything and there will be no lots yeah amount and quantities are combined in balance column in this method so what did I mean by that see here let me show you 400 the previous balance right 400 plus the new receipt or purchase which has happened yeah 400 plus 100 that's equal to 500 and here amount also the same way 1600 plus 410 that's 2010 okay 1600 plus 410 that's equal to 2010 rupees clear this is what i meant fine so you understood so right now on 10th of march what is the balance we have only this 500 at this amount okay not this 400 is it clear everything is combined there are no lots and nothing over here directly one line will be there is it clear and in the balance column there will be no rates over here just in the opening balance there will be but for the remaining part there will be no rates why is that so i explained you that rate is irrelevant over here because every time when there will be issues we will not be looking in the balance column no we are going to look over here for the rates i'm talking about yeah the market prices fine We'll see how it works. Don't worry. See here, the next we have issue only. On 15th of March, we have issued 300 units. So that's simple. We have 500. Easily we can issue 300. Yeah, so let's issue 300. 15th of March, let's see what is the replacement price. What is the market price on 15th of March? That's 4.20. So we'll take 4.20. We can't take this 4.1 or 4. No, we can only take the market price of that date in this method. Okay, 4.20. So we have taken that. 4.2 okay so 300 into 4.2 that's equal to 1260 rupees fine so now what you have to do how will you update the balance column see it's really simple just look into the previous balance and just subtract okay 500 minus 300 that's 200 2010 minus 1260 let's see 2010 minus 1260 that's equal to 750 rupees is it clear this is how you have to update the balance column over here fine so on 15th of march you only have this much 200 quantity and 750 is it clear just one line will be there no lots nothing everything is combined over here fine we got that right let's move on then then on 17th of march what's happening we have received 200 units at 4.30 that's really simple over here see 17th of march 200 4.3 if you multiply that 200 into 4.3 that's equal to 860 rupees fine so this will be added with this okay no balance nothing i mean no rate in the balance column just the quantities and the amount 200 plus 200 that's 400 750 plus 860 let's see 750 plus 860 that's equal to 1610 yeah 1610 rupees clear right and then Next, we have 20, 20th March, issued 250 units. We have 400, we can easily issue 250, so let's do that. 20th March, 250 we have issued. Whenever there is an issue, what you have to do? You have to immediately look in the market prices over here, right? 20th March, yeah, 20th March, 20th March, 4.40. So take that, 4.4, okay, 250 into 4.4, that's equal to 1100, yeah, 1100. So now what you have to do, always you have to subtract the issues from the previous balance, okay? 400 minus 250, that's equal to 150 and 1610 minus 1100, that's equal to 510 rupees. See here, 1610 minus 1100, that's equal to 510. Is it clear? Simple and straightforward. Okay, from the previous balance column, you have to subtract the issues. Always you have to do that and that way you will be updating the current balance uh, column. Fine. Then moving on, 25th of March, see here, received 400 units at rupees 4.5 per unit. Okay, 
so whenever we have a purchase or a receipt what you have to do take it in the receipt column 400 4.5 let's multiply 400 into 4.5 that's equal to 1800 right so we have taken that and then you have to add this to the previous balance column okay 150 plus 400 that's 550 510 plus 1800 that's 2310 is it clear simple and straightforward okay moving on then to the next 26th of march issue 200 units we have 550 easily we can issue so let's issue 26th of march we have issued 200 units at what price at the market price on that date 26 4.6 right so 4.6 we are going to take is it clear so 200 into 4.6 that's equal to 920 right so this is an issue we have to subtract this issue quantity and the amount from the previous balance column okay 550 minus 200 that's 350 isn't it 550 minus 200 that's 350 now yes and then 2310 the previous balance amount minus 920 okay the current issue so the current balance will be 1390 clear easy after that we have 27th march we are receiving 100 units at rupees 4.6 fine so let's take that 27th of march 100 4.6 so just multiply you will get 460 simple now you have to add 350 plus 100 that's 450 1390 plus 460 let's just do that in calculator 1390 plus 460 that's equal to 1850 clear easy and then after that see here on 30th march what's happening we have issued 300 units so now what you have to do really simple we have 450 units so easily we can issue 300 so we'll issue that and then immediately we have to look into the market prices see here on 30th they have given 4.8 is the market price so just take 4.8 just put that in the calculator 300 into 4.8 that's equal to 1440 rupees okay so 450 minus 300 always remember you have to add the receipt and subtract the issues yeah common sense so 450 minus 300 that's equal to 150 right and then 1850 the amount the previous balance amount minus sorry 1850 minus 1440 that's equal to 410 okay so this is your closing stock right the last the last uh, row of this balance column okay so yeah so this is the thing yeah really simple and straightforward there's nothing over here all you have to do is you know just issue just issue the units at the market prices okay the rate in the balance columns are irrelevant these rates are irrelevant it's just that you just have to multiply them properly and add and subtract from the uh, main balance column okay yeah that's all there is in this method there's nothing else so if you have any doubts in this or in any other method also just you know comment down below or message me on instagram okay i will try to solve your doubt so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye